Okay, so our topic is routing. This one. So in our last video, we have done with IP addressing. IP addressing is like if you want to provide one unique identity to any PC, then that process is known as IP addressing. Now, what is the routing? Routing is the process of path determination from one network to another network. Routing is the process of path determination from one network to another network. Now, for example, you have configured the network like 10, 20, 30. Okay, you want to connect all the network with each other, then you need routing. Okay, so routing is a process. In routing, you will learn three processes. Static routing you will learn. Default routing. And after that, dynamic routing you will learn. Okay, actually default routing is the part of static routing. So actually we have two types of routing. Static and dynamic only. Okay. So default routing is the part of static, but we will discuss it later because it works on edge routers only and routers. Okay. Okay. So what is static routing here? What is static routing? Static routing is the process to find the path from source to destination. Like it is the process. Finding path from source network to destination network, but manually. Manually means like through the direct action taken by administrator. Okay, Strati in static routing, you have to find the path from source to destination manually. Okay, manually means, for example, you are coming from one place. For example, you are here and you wanna go to uh, any lake. You wanna go for lakes. So for lake, you, you are driving by yourself. You have your own vehicle. You are doing all the things by yourself. That is called static routing. And what is the dynamic routing? In dynamic routing, it is a process of path determination from source to destination automatically with the help of routing protocol so these are this is the thing here that you have to learn in your networking dynamic routing is the process in which the same process is done like source to destination but in static routing that is manually in dynamic routing it is automatically but you have to learn routing protocols like eigrp spf you have to learn bgp Routing information protocol is also used, but nowadays in new practical, it is not used. Okay. Uh, EASYS is also a protocol. We have so many protocols, but in CCNA, we have to learn on static EIGRP and OSPF. Okay. And BGP, you have to learn in another module because in 200.301, some topics are removed. Okay, let it be. So default routing, is a routing which which came from static routing default routing all all things are in practical we will do it later but first theoretical will be important default routing is working on edge router and in default routing there is an address reserved 0000 000, 000 will be the process okay 000 that will be reserved Okay, so this is the theoretical part. So today we have to work on static routing also. So routing is a process like skimming. Routing is a process of path determination. We have three types, static, default, and dynamic. 
in static routing we can find the path from source to destination manually but in dynamic routing automatically find the path with the help of routing protocol okay so i'm going to stop this video here and record this session and start the practical of static routing in another video okay thank you